Right, so this is Bayonets and Tomahawks from GMT Games. It's on the French and Indian War. I just finished playing the uh, Loden's uh, Gamble. I think is that the scenario? Scenario number two. It's one year. It's the 1757 turn. Uh, year, it's 1757 year, I should say, rather. And it was so close. The, the French are going to win by one point. And it really came down to a, a key decision at the beginning of the turn. The, the British had the smallpox inflicted, infected blankets event and construction frenzy. The construction wasn't going to help them much, but there's more activations on that card, fewer on this one. But I liked the event because it was going to allow me to take some of the Indian units out of play, open up the board, and the British needed just one VP. Figured I was going to lose something to the French. But in the, in the event, I was able to pull a couple of the Indian units out, open up the board for the Cherokee to do what I wanted them to do. Unfortunately for the British, the Indian card this turn was the British encroachment, which put two new Indian units onto the board. And it was like the worst possible one that they could pick. It was a tribe up here in Acadia. And they were able to steal away a victory point away from the British. And that was just disastrous. Uh, because the French were also going to go first. They locked down the uh, the light units that I had here in the Côte de Sud on the St. Lawrence. And so I couldn't use those guys. There's just no way to get that VP back. Didn't have anybody in position. So I sent the Cherokee to attack uh, Leonois. And then I sent the Irregulars from Lake George on a double movement down to... Uh, this location I'm not going to try to pronounce and then up to Montreal and this one you take automatically this one here you got to fight off the militia and there again the militia are terrible I mean they, they only hit on flags right I got three units all I need is one of them to hit and you know typically the militia is going to miss well the militia hit and I, I failed to score even a single hit and so uh, failed to take that location. That would have won the game right there. Just that one location. Not married to that idea. Still got the Cherokee down here, but the Cherokee had a tougher battle. One militia, one Indian tribe unit, and failed to score the necessary hits there as well. So flipped over the uh, war in Europe uh, victory chits from losing uh, regiments during the course of this year. And they're both equal which is very unfortunate for the British. They're now going to lose by exactly one point. And I'd have to double check the bonuses. They might actually, the French might actually have the bonus. The, the British lost their bonus. If they had taken Montreal or if they had held onto this location, I should point out in this location, the, uh, the French only scored one hit on them. All I needed was for one of these three to score a hit. That would have won the game for the British because of the, uh, the bonus that the British would have gotten for holding onto that location. So very, very tight game. I love the feel of the game. This is uh, this one's going to be on the table for a little while. I want to explore some of the other scenarios. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game.